right guys so I just moved to my backyard now because now I'm gonna be painting and the one thing you want to make sure when you are painting is that you want to have plenty of open air for painting because I am actually using interior house paint um, if you don't have like a backyard or able to go out somewhere outside you can use this in your house this has a very low um, I think it's called VSO is what it's called so the smell is very light it does not it's not very loud so I love this type of bare paint um, and like I said, like I said, this is only um what is this right here 29 fluence like what like one quarter thing a very small one but the paint that I'm gonna actually use for this actual board it's called Scruff Defense Stain Blocking Paint and Primer. So you do want to make sure that when you use any type of wood, and you probably see on YouTube that they use all kinds of other like wood primer for MDF. But if you get the actual painter that has a primer already in it, you just need one coat. Or you could do two coats, but you only need one can because they have both the primer and the paint already mixed in here. Um, and you want to make sure you do interior. Now, since I'm just using it for a basic desk, I'm using the interior satin enamel. Um, pure white because I don't want it glossy because they do have different type of finishes they have like eggshell or matte or glossy or semi gloss and on my actual workbench I actually use a semi gloss and found out I really didn't like that because when I was taking pictures on it it just was very it just it, it just shines on my picture so I decided to go with more of a satin enamel so it, it had that smooth finish but I'm gonna be using the scrub defense because this one actually it is it, it, it has an advanced scuff and mar resistance and it's actually good for durability for busy high traffic areas and since this is going to be actually my desk i work on with my computer and stuff and if i use markers or something i don't want to have all these scratches on it like my actual workshop desk so i'm going to be painting about one coat here first of the scruff defense on this board as well as the other piece of board which is right here I'm gonna paint both of this white. This one's gonna stay white. I'm not sure if I'm in the frame right now, but this one's gonna stay plain white because as I said, this is the 17 um, inches with long, the width, the 17 inches one that I'm gonna use my product pictures. That's going to get my actual white wall. So between this board being white, using this paint and the wall white, my product pictures will look very, um, it'll pop on my product photography. Now for this board, since this is actually the one I just cut in the board, I'm actually going to actually sand this part down because this is the cut edge and this is the part that's coming out toward me. So I'm going to actually sand this as well as paint the edges so that way it kind of seals it at the same time. So I'm going to sand this down a little bit. I'm not going to show this on video, but I'm going to sand this and then I'm going to start painting this as well as that one. And one other thing I want to show you too, good thing about um, these paints was you can purchase these paints from any of your hardware stores or Amazon. I got these from Home Depot, but I will put links down below on the things that I did get these from. Home Depot, Lowe's, or your your favorite hardware store of choice. But you want to make sure you get the paint that is made for indoors, just like the interior, and it has some type of protection or stain blocker, depending on what you're going to use it for. But yeah, I wanted to show you these paints because these paints right here, this is a different one. This is a stain blocking paint and primer which is, this is a scuff defense. So it's two different ones, which honestly, I thought I was getting this brand in white and I grabbed the wrong one, but happy accident, because I do want a scuff defense. Because <laughs> if I'm marking or writing stuff on it, or my laptop or monitor, if it's on the desk, gonna be scraping the desk, it's not gonna get scratches. But on this one right here, like I said, I wanted to show this to you guys because I actually have them match my brand colors, which is kind of like a blue or gold or blue and yellow. I basically took my banner to Home Depot and they matched it. So the best thing about doing your own DIY desk is once I paint this white and it dries, I'm gonna actually take some of this paint and kind of do a little something, something, something on it. Maybe it's drop a little jewels on it. I don't know, cause I am Steffi Jewels. And that's the whole idea of doing a DIY project. You can do whatever you want to your own desk. Now, if you buy a desk from any shop, you can probably do the same thing, but when you make your own, you want to make it your own. So I'm going to make this desk my own. So I'm going to paint this desk as well as the other one and then do a little something something with this one. And I'm going to come back and we're going to start assembling my, my desk. So stay tuned.